Welcome back to a new Anno 1800 episode. We're back with another perfect layout and stamp episode, today focusing on steel, steel beams and weapons. So a lot of the materials that you unlock in the worker tier, we're gonna cover it all. We have 10 today, so let's dive right in. But remember that in the video description below, you can find the link to join for free my Discord community where you can download all of those stamps. And also if you want to contribute, I have launched Patreon page, you can also find it in the video description below with a lot of cool benefits for people who join, like influencing which series, which game I'm going to show you next. Looking at the steel beam production chain, right, you have the steel works, you have the furnaces, and then you're gonna need some ore, some ore that you mine, right? Some iron from the iron mine and some coal, which can come from either coal mines or from charcoal tin. Obviously on all islands, you're going to have very different mines so i can't give you stamps that are perfect with the mine but we're gonna do stamps that are perfect with everything else so here's the first one basic to be able to make steel beams as soon as you have coal and iron so you can put it in the middle of your island or you can put it close to a mine for example close to an iron mine like this one if i'm not mistaken yes so you know if i do this obviously this way i don't even need a warehouse for the iron it's going to go directly into those two furnaces so you know now that we've built the mine let's double check as you can see we're going to be producing four steel beams with a perfect ratio for the steel we are bringing all of the iron thanks to that one mine and we're just gonna need to bring the coal this is thanks to two of those furnaces and three of those steel works next to each other then these things tend to explode quite a lot so that's why i've put two fire stations just next door we have also the police station and just one small warehouse you may want to upgrade it you know, to medium warehouse but otherwise you should be all good so once it's time for you to start making your steel yourself which by the way is not really usually when you unlock it when you unlock it just go buy steel from uh, archie that's usually a better idea but at some point you need to start building it yourself right and this is good to start with but as i said it's missing one thing the coal right so let me show you the next one which is basically the same but with coal so we can also put it next to the mine like this and here it is now if i checked the production we should be perfect so it is fully integrated with that as long as you have one iron mine you're good we have just destroyed this wall over here extended it further of course now some trees are going to be planted over here and over there for them to work but yeah this is the perfect ratio but this was only four production per minute right so very quickly you may want to expand into more you haven't locked trade union at that point right so there's nothing preventing you from starting to use them as always let's start with a mixed trade union we have the trade union over here and as you can see this is covering all of those furnaces over here to make steel and all of those steel works to make the steel so with this one without any items without any working condition nothing like this we're already moving from 4 to 15 and again the whole point is to put items so i think you're gonna reach even more of course that will require a lot more coal and iron though you can also see a number of fire station and police station to make sure that this thing doesn't explode too often and of course warehouses without further ado let's move into some dedicated trade union the first one dedicated for steel so these are the furnaces all right this is a pretty easy one we can fit 29 furnaces into this one so that's 58 per minute without any items working condition etc you'll definitely need a number of warehouses all around a number of fire station and police station if you increase the working conditions but yes that's definitely one of the most useful stamp of today because you're definitely gonna need a lot of steel not just for your steel beans but for many other productions across the game and then we have a similar dedicated one but this time for the steel beams so once you have all of these steel transform it into your steel beams we have only 14 steel works because remember they are so big it's hard to fit a lot more as you can see but this is already pretty optimized as you can see for example having this rod over here to make sure that this steel work can be accessed those two over here will definitely have a big chance of blowing up but that's life all the other ones at least will have access you know to all of these fire station and police station then you have the warehouses so that's a simple but efficient one if you want to really have a big empire and you need a lot of steel we still have quite a few to go through but if you're still here hopefully you're liking this episode don't hesitate to smash the like button maybe also to leave a comment below you can share which stamp you know you find really useful also any of the next production that you want to see or just any thoughts and the last fully dedicated trade union i wanted to show you was for the coal 
So as I said, you know, there's two ways to make coal. One is to use your coal mine, but the other is to use those charcoal clean, which are a bit like your lumberjack huts and building like this. They have a radius and they need to have enough trees in their radius. So obviously right now we have a lot of them that are close by. So the available area is not high. It's 39%. So it's similar to what I showed you for the lumberjack hut. Make sure that you put some of those items like the tectonic technical secateur or the druid sickle that will increase the forest density. If we do this, you know, I'm gonna put all three, then you'll see that all of them will be at 100% available area. We go quickly, you know, you can see all of them, they are, I'm not lying. <laughs> and so with something like this, 20 charcoal clean, we're already producing almost 80 of coal. And this is without, you know, the working conditions or things like this. So you can go even further then just put all of your warehouses on the exterior. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this one because I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's worked really well. But that's not all. As promised, we're also going to cover the weapons. Why? Because weapons are also using the steel, right? So let me show you a very basic one first. This is this one over here. We have the weapons factory in the middle. We actually have six of them. And as you can see, their only input is steel. So similarly, we're going to have two furnaces, one on each uh, side so it's easier to deliver right and then we have two warehouses two police station and two fire station this is pretty symmetrical and as you'll see a perfect ratio a perfect ratio to make four weapons per minute and of course you will need four coal and four iron coming from your mines or for the charcoal so similar to what we did for the steel you can do basically the same you know if i rotate it over here this you can see is the same but just with two charcoal flint to have enough coal right on site. And so as soon as you find, you know, a mine of iron, you can just put it next door and then you'll be in a perfect ratio. Four weapons, everything at equilibrium over here. I've also added a few ornaments over here just to make it complete. If you don't have access to them, don't worry, you can still build the stamp. This thing just won't be built. Last but not least, I have a stamp for you with everything. Everything we've been covering today, we have the trade union that's covering all buildings. So as soon as you put items, that can help them all. We have the police station and the fire station. We have three of those warehouses over here. And then we have some productions, right? First of all, we have four of those charcoal clean. So with that, you'll be producing eight of coal per minute without any items or working conditions. Then the, to use this coal, we have four furnaces, one, two, three, and four. And then with those four furnaces, with the steel that you're making, you'll be able to make both weapons. You know, we have two weapons factory, and we also have three of those steel works. So with that, you know, again, without working conditions or things like this, you're gonna make four steel, one weapon, which makes sense because usually you need way less weapons than steel overall on the game so yes i really suggest you just use this one you know obviously you don't have to build everything at once you can use your blueprint mode but at least you'll have them all as always i'd love to hear your thoughts don't hesitate to share in the comments below to smash like button subscribe if you haven't done so already maybe also click on the bell button to make sure that youtube tells you every time i post a new video and if you want to support the channel, maybe help me get a new microphone or more games to showcase, don't hesitate to join the Patreon page, you can find it in the video description below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.